Hi, I'm Ed Alexander, founder of the Entrepreneurship Law Firm. In this video, I'm going to talk about how much equity you have to give up in order to raise capital for your business. This is a very common question that I get from entrepreneurs all the time, and that is, what is my company worth and how much do I have to give up to, to uh, get uh, money for my business? So I want to flip this on its head a little bit and ask you to consider this. Let's say you had a million dollars that you were going to go ahead and invest. And you, when you have a million dollars, you have pretty much a plethora of investment opportunities. You could go and buy government bonds or government securities and get a relatively low investment uh, return on your investment. Today, it's actually less than 1%. Uh, you could go and uh, invest in the stock market in blue chip stocks, some of the uh, top co uh, companies in the nation. And typically, over a long extended period of time, 20 years or more, uh, you'd get a, a return of somewhere between 10 and 14 percent per year. Next, you could go to small cap companies. These are relatively young emerging companies that are coming in into the marketplace. Now, the thing with these companies is you're going to have a little bit higher risk. Some of these companies are going to fail. Um, but what happens is you get a higher rate of return. So again, over that same time period, you might have 18 or 22 percent in terms of re return. And when we look at a startup, though, the failure rate of a startup is astronomically high. According to the SBA, about 10% of new businesses fail every year. So to, at the end of five years, half of businesses are no longer operating. And so with that high failure rate and that likelihood of, reduce, of, of losing money, an investor in a startup or a, a small business, high growth business, is going to require a much, much higher return on investment. Typically, that return on investment is in the neighborhood of 60%. This means that if an investor gives you a dollar in year one, they expect in year five for you to return them $10. That means 10x for every, uh, every dollar that they give you, 10 times return. And so your business has to be able to prove to an investor that they can get that 10x return over a period of time. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to go into how to estimate early stage value with this information.